Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. And I almost stumbled on my intro once again, but I powered through. So, happy late Valentine's Day, or to people like me, happy single awareness, late, late happy single awareness day. Um, there's nothing really wrong with being single, I think. It could be better for a lot of people, to be honest. Um... Well, that sounded jaded. No, I'm I'm legit. I'm legit saying that. Um, I hope... Actually, just tell me in the comments down below. Did you celebrate Valentine's Day? Did you enjoy it? Did you have dinner or lunch or something with your special person? Um, or maybe with your friends? Or I had lunch out with a friend of mine. Just to... Well, we, we were just looking for lunch, to be honest. We both didn't have our... Um, pre-packed food because we didn't and we didn't want to buy from Jollibee or McDonald's that day so we ended up going to um, Classic Savory just for food <laughs> and then we ended up working till 7 o'clock because that's how marketing works sometimes during this season and yeah I did I feel Valentine's Day sort of I spent dinner with my family Bought them some food and um, donuts and stuff. Nothing particularly special. And I'm okay. <laughs> so yeah, did you celebrate Valentine's or did you, did you celebrate Single Awareness Day? Okay, okay. Um, what else? What else is interesting to talk about Valentine's Day? Oh yeah, this is late. As I mentioned, this drawing is late because... I didn't want to upload it on the Thursday because it was really close to Saturday already and if I uploaded it on Thursday, the gap between Thursday and next Saturday would have been really really long and I didn't want to do that so I just decided to upload it late and yeah, mm. I hope you still watch this video. <laughs> so for the concept for the piece, I didn't want to go with a cute, happy, fluffy type of piece. The original sketch, if you saw it earlier in the intro, um, it was supposed to be a bit more darker, uh, maybe slightly grittier, like a hunter for your heart type of thing. So Cupid, this is supposed to be Cupid, sort of. It's more like a teenage guy, or not even a teenage, maybe a young adult guy. Who just has a job to do and he has to, to shoot his arrows here and there and it's Valentine so he's doing his job but uh, I had to change the theme and the color scheme a little bit mainly because of the medium I'll be using which is Copix which you will be seeing later yes I finally have Copix I will fangirl over that later so right now we are using the um, Sakura Pigma Micron Fine Liner, which is the PN one. Let me see if I can grab it. Where is it? Where did I put it? Okay. Got it. Oh, there it is. So, this, I, I am really, really loving this PN brush. So, uh, there's no size. And it's meant to be more of a plastic nib. I think that's why it's PN. It's a plastic nib over the typical soft... Is it fiber or cotton? I'm not sure. Um, over the usual soft nib. It has the flexibility of the usual nibs. And the brush nib, though it's not as like swooshy, but I really like it. You can get a lot of, a lot of mileage out of it. I'm using the sepia toned one, and I like it. I would actually recommend it for people who um, find some difficulty using the brush nib, but you don't really like how uniform the standard nibs are. And you don't want to bring like the entire set with you all the time. So this plastic nib can give you a lot of variety if you just practice with it. Um, it works similarly to 
the usual nibs anyway. So I like it. I use it a lot and it's sepia so it gets a bit more mileage out of me nowadays than the black inks because I see that it blends in better with the colors but still gives a lot of definition. So you are seeing right now what you're seeing right now are Copics and yes I got these for Christmas. <laughs> so yes I'm in the Philippines. I If you have been watching my videos for a while you would know that already and yes you are able to buy Copics in the Philippines um, but you just have to search online so my parents bought these for me for Christmas after he me harp on about this for maybe how many years has it been since I, since I graduated college um, it's been I've been at work for two years so plus one let's say three years no, it's nine. It's been nine years since I started college. So, um, yeah, of course it's twenty nineteen, and I entered college in twenty ten. That's right. Um, right. So I started college in twenty ten. That's when I started slowly getting into the YouTube sphere, and by by that I mean watching a lot of YouTube videos. At that time, I was still doing like Vocaloid stuff, but I was starting to watch art YouTubers slowly. And I was exposed to these alcohol markers, to these Copics. And at that time, even in the US, it seemed really hard to get your hands on. Um, it, is, it is either you get them from Japan, or you went to Japan, or you go to a particular art store. Now it's more prevalent, prevalent, prevalent. It's more prevalent. Um, and there are a lot more bands that has alcohol markers nowadays. So. It's a lot more accessible. Here in the Philippines, you are able to buy um, these Copics through online store. You can buy the Winsor & Newton Bush markers from National Bookstore, which is the top leading most accessible book slash art store in the Philippines. And you can also get your hands on the, on the Chinese knockoffs from Lazada and Shopee, I guess. And what else? Oh, right. Um, I think National Bookstore also carries chameleon markers. I remember seeing them at one point. I'm not sure if it's still in stock now or if they pulled it out. But you can actually get your hands on alcohol markers a lot easier now. Um, yeah. So, disclaimer. You don't need to buy the Copics as in the brand. Um, if you want your, if you just want to play around with alcohol markers and you don't have much of a budget, and you don't have parents that spoil your ass like I do, <laughs> um, I would suggest going with say the Shopee or the eBay or the Lazada ones first. You get a lot more colors for your money, and they're super super cheap. I can't attest to their quality. I've never used them. This is the first alcohol marker I've ever tried, and. They work like a dream for me. So, a year? I think a year ago, I, I spotted the Winsor & Newton markers in National Bookstore. I first saw them in Mega Mall, and then I saw, I saw them in SM North after the renovations. And I was tempted to buy them because they were cheap. Um, maximum, they were 2K, I'd say, per set. And... I wanted to buy them but also somewhere in my heart I wanted to hold back a little because I was so infatuated with the Copics even though from what I've seen online they work essentially the same. The only difference being Copics of course is already has the brand attached to its name and the color selection is like crazy big and you can buy refills for it you can replace the nibs and but I didn't really need to go with the Copics. I could have gone with the, with the Winsor & Newton. But at the time, I think I was saving up for my washing machine. So I didn't just dive my money into it. I could buy. I could still buy the Winsor & Newtons now, actually. Now that I've started on the alcohol micro collection. But I will hold off for now. And yes, if you don't have much of a budget, or say you're a working person like me, you don't have that much of a salary or if you do you don't really want to use up of all of it and but you still want to buy art materials i would suggest either going for as i mentioned the ones on the zada the alcohol markers or 
by the Witsy Newton ones in National Bookstore. The Chameleon ones seem interesting, but they're pretty expensive as well. Um, they're interesting. I, I was curious about them for a while, but also because I really love uniformity in my... Or I like ha being able to put down uniform colors. I felt that I wouldn't get much use out of the gimmick it has. So, I wouldn't recommend going straight for them. But, if you're an art supplies nerd like me, that loves spending... <laughs> or just like geeking out on art materials and going straight for the most expensive stuff most of the time. <laughs> uh, Copix is good. You can just search them online. I got, well, my parents got these from Art Bar PH. They're actually a physical store. They have a branch in Kesson Avenue, but they also do shipping online. And I feel they're legit. These look legit. I saw Copix in. I see them really often actually. In the last two cons I've been to for the past two years, I go to Best of Anime and Cosmania, both 2017 and 2018. Um, I saw people selling Copics there, and they look the same as the one from the art bar. So I feel it's the same supplier or they're both legit. <laughs> okay, I'll talk about the markers real quick since we have five minutes-ish left. Pros. They're in this really beautiful middle ground between colored pencils and watercolor. So if you know my channel is very watercolor heavy, I really like using watercolor because I feel like they're really fast, they're easy to work with. Um, in terms of spreading color, your um, only downside to watercolor is the drying time and once you put down the color, there's no going back. Uh, colored pencils on, their ha on the other hand, um, are, to some people are a lot more relaxing, there's a lot of control, uh, laying down color by each stroke is very relaxing for them. I'm sort of impatient, though the colored pencils that I bought recent, like for the paper cast of Polychromos um, have taught me how to be a bit better with them, but in terms of putting out fast works like I do, um, they're not the best for my type of person. I feel like the Copics are in a solid middle ground. They're alcohol markers so they blend really really well. Um, you, they're not as difficult as watercolor where you can't sometimes predict or control where they go because they are still markers. Um, and it also has that, that nice satisfying feeling of coloring up an area slowly as you would with watercolor. But it also isn't as slow as colored pencils. So it's a really good middle ground. They blend well and they cover areas really, really quickly. Um, what else can I talk about? Cons. They're expensive. They're a bit more expensive than watercolors. Um, I can't remember how much a 12 set is. From what I remember, they should be 7k. So as I said, Vincent Newton is less than is around 2,000 pesos-ish. So the price gap is pretty big, and you're sort of limited by the color selection. I can do it by layering colors as I would with watercolor, but for example, with the jeans earlier, you see here on the left side, I busted out my Kuretahe Gansai Tambi watercolors just to get that color. Um, so they can be quite an investment, especially if you're not really super into art and you don't want to invest that much, I'd say go for the cheaper markers first. Um, what other cons? Sometimes the pen ink gyps, the my RV55 Hollyhock color, drip twice, once on the paper near the hair, and then the second line was on my finger itself, so it leaked a bit of ink, but I solved that by just like turning the barrel upside down and letting it wait a little bit. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, they work well with watercolors. Um, I put down the uh, I put down V twenty five pale blackberry over the watercolor, and I was expecting it to like dissolve the watercolor, but it didn't really do that much to it. Uh, it added the shadow that I wanted. I'm not really sure how it would interact if I put it on watercolor paper yet, or if I put it in several layers. Uh, that's something I have to play around with later on. 
But other than that, they're good. I'm in love. <laughs> as a fade, because I thought that I would feel the same way about it as I would with colored pencils where I feel like it was too slow or too tedious. But they're, they're really good. They're good. Um, yeah. So, I have officially fallen into Copic Hell. My parents have left me here in Copic Hell level 1. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mention, I have the Copic Sketch 12 set EX-5, so it's mostly purples and magentas. That's why I couldn't do the gritty, darker, hunter type of theme I wanted to do. But my parents have officially told me, Okay, here's your first set. After moaning about it for 5 years plus, you can go buy the rest by yourself. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I do a lot of, you know, drawing and art in general. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt, and I will see you around.